Bella boys <coughs> Grazie mille a Miki per il follow. Tra l'altro.
Qualcuno in chat? Any chatters? Beh, c'è una cosa, What do you mean? <laughs> Which energy? Yeah, I think so, Zenaku. What do you mean with a lot of energy, man? Come on. <laughs> you well man I am used to do that so it's fine Bella Volcan hello man I mean I used to you know doing uh, I don't know six hours of stream and then plus I don't know two or three or four hours of water view per day so it's fine we just did like one hour thirty of uh, of stream I guess so <laughs> Hello boys, please any I don't want any lurkers here in the chat, okay? So I want everyone here, everyone uh, talking, everyone asking for stuff. <laughs> Well, answer. I will answer you in English. So the question is, which, which was the best and the worst moment uh, during the World Cup uh, for me? Uh, I guess the best one. Uh, yeah, animal. <laughs> I think. Uh, wait a second. So I guess like the best one was uh, when uh, I think we. We won uh, the the match versus Japan, and the worst one probably was uh, when we threw uh, Dorado versus Sweden. I guess, yeah. I think I was I was very very uh, happy too when uh, when we won the first match. There was the first m map versus Sweden that we're gonna see right right now soon. So. Come on, don't be, sh don't be shy. Come in the chat. I can see who is like uh, l lurking in my in my in my live. Come on. I will do that in Italian if there is no uh, uh, any any strangers in the chat. Let's wait a few minutes, then I will start. Is it music too loud? I don't think so.
Yeah, I think we kind of fucked up Dorado and uh, I mean we should have we should have played better uh, Kings or not getting a draw and also like winning easily Dorado. Dorado was uh, our map 100%. And we could have like do like 3-0 into them because Aramura I was kind of sure that uh, was for the for Sweden because Aramura is is a Bastion map and they were pretty good on the Bastion on Aramura during the scrim so I think we fucked up Dorado and we also fucked up Kings Row. Kings Row and Dorado should have been uh, our maps, 100%. Anyway, I think we can start. Eh? Yes, let's start. The higher here, there's there's no qualifiers, there's no warm up. You know, we're just getting right into the elimination game. So Italy staying alive so far and up 1-0 in this series, Sweden. We thought they were the overdogs. We thought I they would dominate think there this group, is no but Italy the second. proving scrappy, proving like they can maybe take this series. And it shows that experience levels don't always tell the full Let story. Sweden, we've already talked about how much experience they have. Yeah, this is the first map. Hello, Jolly. Stage, get out of the elimination okay, phase. Okay, these are the Face some of the tougher teams in the bracket. Sweden, I would certainly call them, uh, call them the overdog here. I mean, Italy, they had a really scrappy match against Japan, which contrasted against Sweden's really a drop. Okay, of Colombia. Really, uh, I think it's pretty scuffed. So Sweden, looking to set the pace. I don't know. Okay, anyway. So guys, this will be this will be in English, okay? Just for the moment. Uh, let's see later uh, if there will be too many, too not too many strangers where I can uh, I can speak in Italian. But I would like to do that in English since yesterday I did this uh, in um, uh, in Italian. So I think should be fine for every Italian here. My my English is not that good. <laughs> Just trash talking myself. Anyway, let's start. So. This is the first map, like, w in the in the situation we were, it was like, uh, you know, we just won Japan after a six match, uh, six uh, map series. So means we were, uh, on a, on one side we were so, you know, happy, we were so excited, because the match was really, really good. But on the other side we were uh, very, very tired. So, uh, we didn't have any, basically any pause, probably maximum, I think, was like 10 minutes to go to the bathroom. But the guys were really, really, you know, excited and focused. Uh, also, there was another problem. That the last map we played into Japan, the sixth map, was uh, Nepal. And the guys from Sweden they just saw Nepal. Uh, they were watching the match. So, I mean, I don't want to say that they were prepared, but, you know. They saw our playstyle, at least on the map. So, I was kind of scared. But, uh, at the end, we got the map. Also, I think we got this map uh, pretty easily. So let's see. Uh, I think that we won 2-0 here. So a pretty good score into Sweden. Uh, both map with the Doomfist Reaper composition. So in a mirror matchup. Again with the teleporter. We'll see if that makes a big difference in terms of their position on point. We're seeing compositions for a little bit more So right now... Okay, we right now we have heartbeat uh, positioning itself during the like in the in the black room, and uh, the strategy is kind of the same of uh, probably I think Sweden, uh, not in the right situation. But uh, like what we are looking to do with heartbeat here is basically going in the dark room and trying to um, uh, punch the Oriza in our angle position and putting the Oriza basically uh, into the hole, so booping down the Oriza, and a lot of time in scream worked pretty well. Uh, but I don't think I don't think in this uh, situation worked because Mirror, I think they were two. expecting this. Interesting rotation from part Indeed, Arpit was he scouted. He got scouted by the Reaper, so he went Left back. To find a so right now, what I guess is uh, we don't have Doomfist with the team, and they have Doomfist. They punch uh, earlier. They punch before us, and we f they force our uh, tank line to go back, as you see. Yeah. They are basically, since we didn't have the, the, the Doomfist, uh, they got a lot of space because they punch uh, before us. And then we got the punished by the, by the Doomfist. Yeah, had this low HP, 
we can we tried another punch into them with heartbeat but uh, we didn't we weren't ready to this punch i think heartbeat were too too greedy here because we didn't have any resources to give him no shields no sigma shields no uh uh, Orisa shield, so I yeah, didn't get anything, and he dies Bolo, after. And uh, Hedy got booped by the loser with the full boop. So I guess right now the biggest round was like since Heartbeat couldn't go uh, with the strategy like below them, he should have like uh, uh, called that, and our uh, tank line should have should have like play more safe, huh? probably more slow. An outplay by the Doofus there. Sweden, they take a more decisive move to point. Hearthbeat, he's still clearing the flank, and by that time, he's just a little too late to get his punch in. And Erky sends him flying into a wall as he tries. So, now next fight, uh, both teams are uh, basically close to coalition. They're gonna be coalition soon. We saw a really good position by the Reaper by Hesnillo, and Herky is on the bridge. So, double off angle by Sweden DPS. So, so uh, Asso here, I think, is pretty, is pretty greedy again. He's not scouting uh, their position. They should expect a position like that from them. I don't like at all. I don't know why they are retaking from here. But I think, like, retaking from the left side is much better. Because you can uh, scout better who is behind the shield. So, right now, how you can understand if there is an offangle by the Reaper, by the enemy Reaper and the enemy Doomfist? Well, basically, seeing... Uh, not going blind into the fight, but watching before going into the point, who who is behind the shield. So, is there like any Reaper behind the shield? Any Doomfist? If you didn't see him, means that there will probably be an Offangle. So, you need to pay attention and like look uh, to their Offangle. Scout them, right? And now, Doomfist, uh, Artbeat is going uh, like uh, basically blind. There is Doomfist on the left. Uh, and that's why Astro is low HP. And then we have engaged by the Reaper and then engaged by the Doomfist. But we get kinda good because we use Fortify. But they are still very low space, as you see. They have all the space. We are starting with the coalitions. Really good coalitions by Fryud. He got a lot of, uh, you know, very good sideline here. Because instead of being, you know, uh, here, he's like playing on uh, very far from, uh, from the fights. And he's getting a lot of value. As you can see, he can like uh, uh, take both like healing and uh, damage the enemy in the same time. Can Doomfist go for a blind punch for Reaper corner? Uh, you mean in the first fight? Mm, uh, I don't know, like, it's never a good idea as a Doomfist to, to trade like a Reaper. Because normally in the matchup, like Reaper Doomfist, uh, the Reaper is 99% oh, of the time winning. So I guess it's not... Uh, it's not the best thing. If you are able to, if you are able to get more support by the others, I think it was better. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I understand. Like force right, but if you are one one situation, you force the right, but then the, the reaper is gonna kill you anyway. Because he can one shot you basically. So as a doomfist, I would not take the one one with the reaper. If you have support by other teammates, yes. If you're basically, you know, close to your, uh, next to your Reaper, you can Reaper Doomfist the enemy Reaper and it's fine. Now, for you. Anyway, this uh, coalition is pretty, pretty good. They don't have coalition still. They were close to so Doomfist ultimate, but the Doomfist dies. So, uh, no Lucio, no Doomfist. This, this fight should be easy for the Italy. Now, really good focus. Really good movement by Fryo here. And, yeah, they won the fight. does come in his own. I think as we didn't hear, got the fight too much uh, uh, faster, and uh, we basically were able to win the fight because we got the coalitions before them, and we are like in a very good position with the with the laser with the coalitions. Now the path is far from clear. It's really going to come down to these Doomfist execution. They both have the meter strike available. They're both probably looking to get extremely aggressive on the back of it, but it's Italy in defensive position. Okay, so next fight. Sweden doesn't have coalitions because they wasted coalitions. We are close to Reaper. I mean, we have Reaper and we have Doomfist. So I guess we're gonna go for a, a Doomfist ultimate, probably. Let's see. Actually, this is a very good position for uh, Jolly, for Lilian to go for an ultimate. He can, like, just solo alt the, uh, the Lucio. They have the Doomfist, but what I want by Italy here is probably... I don't know which is the plan, but probably it's like... Uh, Going for solo ulting the Lucio, meanwhile the enemy team, like all the team is pushing the, 
uh, the, the Sigma, so he can't do anything. Oh, no. But right now, the, the call, I guess, is like Art, uh, Art Pit Ultimate. Well, That's young. it, they got I one pick. Uh, fuck. Uh, no, I don't agree at all with this ultimate. So, which is the situation? So, basically, we got one pick, right? Early pick, what does it mean? It means that normally, if you early pick someone, means that you didn't use any cooldown, basically. Right now, we didn't use any cooldown apart from the punch of Heartbeat. We pick the enemy Doomfist, so means we have an advantage. Heartbeat is using his ultimate. Are you... Why we should like use another ultimate to win this fight since we are six versus five and we have all the space to 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 kill the, the other targets with just heartbeat ultimate so this oh, ultimate no. was I don't agree with this so we punch uh, we pull the enemy Sigma we should have committed into the Sigma that's it without any ultimate our uh, Italy right now should just push into the choke and get the and help Jolly Lilian to get uh, to get the damage into them. This ultimate is pretty, pretty bad. I mean, there is a bit of follow up by Italy, but not enough. Especially because we are, as you see, like Lilian is alting here, but the the all the and all the all the whole Italy team is playing still in the choke instead of pushing. They should they should have pushed with the Reaper, and using both shield, maybe also like the other shield of uh, of Riza. And uh, focusing Elivot. Since Elivot right now with the with the with the Matrix is just Matrixing the Reaper, but all the team can like punish Elivot right now. Also, I would like to see like uh, Doomfist engaging it. into the uh, punching the, the enemy Sigma. But uh, I guess we we probably yeah we won the fight, but it's just a soft reset, so it's not the best scenario for Italy. Especially because we do we use both DPS ultimate and they didn't use anything. They have six ultimate coming up. So as you see, like Italy is playing uh, pretty passive. And the reason is like we are waiting for waiting Jolly for, for Lillian to come back. Six players, they've already progressed past the choke, so they're just holding that sort of progress. And we are close to Sigma Ultimate. I guess here we are gonna engage with uh, a Dragon like Eddie Ultimate. To... And that's it. That's the pool. The well. Both teams are using uh, their uh, their flux. Adnar uses ultimate, but they still don't have beat. Gustav's one HP. Yeah, seeing what is happening right now. I think Sweden is gonna win. Only because. because of Let me check. Wait. Try you kill the uh, Doompiece. Like to to well. Oh, we used the beat, and with this beat, we are able to play a bit Italy more aggressive. More they didn't get any value from uh, the Doomfist ultimate. Oh, really counter punch. Really good counter punch by Heartbeat uh, into Erky. But now they have beat, but uh, before the beat could, like, eat. Uh, Halibut, they are dead. Zero is using his ultimate, but we got 3 picks, so we are 5 versus 3. This should be an easy win for Italy. Yes, it is. I think the Sweden, the, the biggest problem with Sweden was that they engage into the enemy without getting the without having the, the beat up. Always, when you are close to uh, beat, uh, beat, what you want to do, especially when they have uh, when they have Sigma ultimate, you want to wait until you have the beat up and then you engage. You don't ever want to get the fight uh, without the beat up. Teammates before that moment, so Italy once again in control of the point, looking to take this flanking attack by Lil Young. It's very hard to clear. Yeah, Jolly Lil Young right now is playing uh, on the Fangle. Both teams don't have any ultimate. Well, Italy got almost started with ultimate. Since Sweden fucked up the ultimate uh, ulti economy. Uh, guardiamo Jolly Trollari, yes. Uh, I guess uh, Italy should win this fight easily. Because Sweden fucked up his uh, ult economy. They used basically six ultimate in the last fight. Dillon is flanking. Mm, I don't like this thing by his Nilo. He shouldn't like go, you know, like as a Reaper. You don't wanna like. Uh, you are playing on a Fangle, sneaky, sneaky. You should have wait a bit more. You know, wait for your teammates to push in. So, the Sweden team tankline should push in, and then uh, the Reaper should go up when he's close to the to the enemy. In in the opposite, what he's doing is just basically shooting and doing nothing. As you can see, he's not, he's not getting any type of value. 
dodges the rock, using the pillars as protection, pressuring the tanks. So a really good uh, movement by Italy. Why? It's because they basically do went for the... Uh... Hello, Nico. So basically, they went for the uh, first punch, pull punch, in the choke with the fangle of, jo of Li Yang, and then they went back to the point. Why? Well, because this is the last fight, right? They are 90% of the point, and they are close to a lot of ultimate. They know they have advantage, so playing slow and going, take the fight into the point is the best choice right now. Because we want to win with uh, uh, with uh, ultimate economy. Playing slow. Now Zinlo is tipping... Is he being behind? What the fuck is happening with my... TP at the back. He... Astro is getting punched. Gustav got Adnar. Let me see how they got Adnar. Who is Adnar? Adnar? Okay. I got pulled. Okay. I don't like this. I don't think like Adnar should have went for the pull. I guess they called them for the pull punch. Uh, pull, uh, pull boot. But... I don't know. It was pretty greedy by Adnar here. Yeah. He cannot throw this fight, but let's see. I guess they're gonna lose this. Yes, probably. Wait. No, yes. So we're going for the ultimate of uh, Fryus, of Alicians. Yeah, we have ultimate economy, so we're basically getting more value. We kill. We have four versus five. Yeah, we, we lost this. We should have won this because. We have a lot of ultimates, so I guess the problem here is like playing greedy with this pull buff. I have pull buff. I think they, they should have just, you know, uh, play open a bit on the point. Eddie maybe not sending here alone, not sending so uh, with the with the hustle, but maybe a bit more of angle, so he could farm a bit more ultimate faster. And then waiting for Arpit and Fryu, and when they have those ultimate, just engage into the enemy. They don't need to rush anything right now. Face. Just playing uh, with passions and like playing slowly. Yes, they shouldn't do that. That's easier said than done in this position. Ebb does have that coal. Now Sweden has. Now they have advantage with ultimate, I guess. Yeah, they have a bit more ultimate. Erki again. Uh, Sweden again with the same uh, position, like double of angle. Also again, they are. Okay, they are moving uh, and they are changing their position. Uh, that's pretty good. Why this is rotation is good? Because if you rotate like this, the enemy DPS are positioned themselves in a way that they're expecting that you're gonna come from here. But since they're rotating from the opposite side, means they have to reposition themselves, right? Everyone needs to reposition themselves. Also, it's kind of uh, smart by Italy, uh, rotating by like this and then having the Reaper standing here because they can like basically sandwich them, right? And it would be very, very difficult for uh, Sweden uh, scouting this. Top, look how split up also, Jolly Liliang is uh, with ultimate up, so it's pretty good. Sweden is, not giving any good opportunities for our but they scout the Liliang. They went for the pull Sorry, punch. Fry, you got picked by the Doomfist. They're using a uh, Dragon the ultimate. Yeah, now they're the lost. I want to see why we're not getting too much value from this ultimate. So I'm thinking they don't have beat, right? So Fryo is in a bad position. Firstly, this position is pretty bad. Like you don't want to play in like in a in a close angle uh, in a close corner. You want to play like this or, or this, right? It's much better. And, uh, and secondly, like hard, I don't know why they engage with the with the soft. I don't know why they they went for the soft engage with the pull punch, but or I mean for the punch. But right now, what they have to do is just not engaging with the doomfist. What they want is just like uh, going for the going for the um, pull and uh, flaxo of Dragon Eddy, and then when the enemy are dropping down, you want Artbit eating the targets. Since they don't have beat, right? So we, we don't want like Artbit engaging before the flux. You want Artbit engaging after the flux. Italy rotating behind them. Riveted flux from Dragon Eddy. But Italy have lost their Moira. Less healing available. They need to win this fight quick. But now it's too late. With three, with a fourth. So last fight. Running into some 
Tag list nowhere. Okay, we're back. We're back. Our stream is live. And they okay. want to get Sweden holding in the corner here. Trying so last fight, Sweden got a lot of ultimate to deal this fight. Like five up. ultimate coming up. They went for a yearly <laughs> Doomfist ultimate. Unexpected, but Jolly went for the counter push. They are very, very low. Sweden. They beat this. This is kind of <laughs> difficult for Italy to win. Arpid went for the Moira, let me see. Really good hit on the Moira. And get the, the beat, the Lucio to wow, this is like Arpid popping off. I don't know why Sweden. people are saying Italy. in Italy that that hey, wasn't popping this. off as a, as a Doomfist. It's kind of clutch, you know? Three picks. Jolly came back with the... Lillian came back with the Tracer and that's his will. I guess Sweden here through this, the fight because they engage into the, into the shock without any reason. Like they could have played this fight easily into the point. Since they have more ultimate to deal with the fight, to deal with the fight, so I don't know. Next fight. Yeah, definitely. The team with more experience than Sweden, but Italy, I mean, Dragonetti had such a great performance on D.Va in last year's World Cup. I still remember that. I still remember his great plays, great movements, and we've seen yet more of that come out from him on the Sigma to hear that he can continue to make more plays on. So we'll see which Doomfist can get the better initiation here. Tends to be important part. So. I still remember his great plays, great movements, and we've seen yet more of that come out So there is a, the a big point he here. Make more plays on and the point is like... Uh, we we are not playing with the symmetry, right? So the tanks of Sweden on the paper should be able to get more space. Indeed, they, they get the space, right? Arvid is playing on Ofengol on the left. And he's able to, to like, get a, a really good uh, uh, force on the Moira. But now we are uh, very, very uh, in a bad position, right? So we, we should right now change our position and going for the rotation into the elephant. Stop. Because this position, since we are on the, on the stairs, is not good at all for us. But since Sweden is giving us space, for I don't know which reason, probably we didn't, uh, they didn't have the, the fortify, I don't know. Lusish, yes, Lusish is using this gold. So now we are engaging, we have gold advantage, probably, yes, that's, that's how we are uh, getting the space. Yeah. Arpit again uh, with the Fengol. Sweden, not getting the finish quite yet. Now you're getting into the part of the fight where coal essence matters. Pray you. And we are engaging with, the, with our coalition. Not the best pace for the coalition right now because we don't have, uh, you know, this, the, the space, uh, the, low, the, the ground. Resources for Italy. More healing. Eps matches in on the other side. Later fight, later fight advantage here for Sweden. But, the but we are able to win the fight. Alicia Basically, I guess. More resources, resources I guess for because Italy. we had more. more uh, we had like the gold right now side. and they Later didn't fight. have the gold, yeah. We killed Sweden, the Lucish without... Because he didn't have the gold right now. DPS. How are they gonna dance around this pillar? Both Doomfists, they collapse, but no one gets the punish. And this could be anyone's fight. This should Sweden be for, for Ethel because they don't have... Uh, no, I mean, the, the Sigma, the, the, the Risa shield. Oh, uh, what's happening here? Yeah. They collapse, but no one gets the punish. And this could be anyone's fight. Sweden needs to turn it around quickly, though. I mean, it's a 6v5 on point. There's Arisha shield. They're adding up one after another, but Eves I don't know how to die from here. Try the Reaper. Doomfist RP here could have waited a bit more to engage with ultimate since they have beat, right? I don't know why he's engaging right now with the with the ultimate. The should wait a bit more. Yeah, because they the beat is still up, so he should have waited a bit more. Sweden realized how important this fight is using the barrier without even worrying about the Gravitic Flux coming online. And this and, uh, some way Sweden they got the this, this first they got the point. I mean, when you get one pick like that, especially onto the Risa, what you want to do is like bit of stabilization and then pushing the next star that probably will be or the Sigma or one of the two DPS, you know? Get their lead up. Italy. So we'll be coming back with Gravitic Flux and there's no barrier response. How did Sweden do that? I mean, losing your Orisa and failing to respond with a quick counter kill. Yeah, they are right. But now there is a point for the Sweden. Sweden doesn't have any beat. And we have the, 
And we have the, the flux by Dragon Eddy. Really good position by the DPS. DPS scouting on top, clearing the top. Uh, I guess Sweden is looking to engage early with the uh I guess with the Arki ultimate. They're really close. Yeah, like this. Exactly. Sweden just collapsing onto Italy, breaking in. And this is a large lead now, two fights in a row for them. That's so rough for Italy. They had the ultimate advantage there, but now it feels like it's gone. Sweden rushing in and wiping them before they can really get those ults out, find any efficacy at all. And Sweden, they bought themselves a lot of time to start building up some of those key counter ults. And once again, I'd expect to see them assaulting Italy. And now we have a lot of ultimate to deal with these fights. Oh, this fight should but be but easy for us, I guess. We can just uh, engage with the Sigma oh, ultimate like and win this fight, this. probably. But still no barrier. Dragon yeah, like this. Sees the halt, uh, they are going for the Snilo ultimate and the reason is like we are using the Sigma right so Sigma in this moment can't use his cooldown you know like the counter of the, the Reaper ultimate of Blossom is extremely cooldown of uh, of Sigma right uh, since Sigma is ulting since that is ulting he can't do anything into this ultimate right so um, the problem is like I don't think he's getting any value unless maybe Lilian is gonna die but I think he got the shift so I guess it's not gonna kill anyone. Okay, Lilian didn't use his ultimate. Adnar went for the uh, beat. But we use also like the coalitions. I don't think we should have used both ultimates. Let me see. No, that's that's one of the biggest problems we had with Italy. A lot of time in a reaction way, we are using both supports ultimate. When I don't think we should use that. Like, I don't think this... Let me see. Let me see again. I want to see if someone was low HP apart from Lilian. Because I think this ultimate could be... Like, this uh, Reaper ultimate could be easy. Can't... Well, the, the Reaper is on the on the high ground, right? He's getting in the sky by the, the Sigma ultimate. So, I don't think we should have used this bit. There is no need of using this bit right now. We should have just used the, the, the Coalitions probably. And that's it. Or maybe just use the beat and then using the coalitions after if needed. Throws up two. Meanwhile, supercharger easily destroyed there for Sweden. Italy. We use too many ultimates right now. Because yeah, we use one, two, three, four ultimates. We use in this fight. Thanks and supports. And they used only. Well, they use both. They use ultimate too. Like they use coalitions. I don't know why Epson uses ultimate. What the fuck? Oh, they use his ultimate, but for nothing. So now there is a problem because no, I guess it's not a problem because both teams doesn't. Uh, we have ultimate advantage anyway. I think they fucked up a lot their ultimate economies really. Yeah, because they use one, two, three, four ultimate too. So I think it's fine. Grazie per lost solo fortuna. That's me. So now Lilian is playing in Ofengol. I think he got oh, scouted. He I That's think he, if he got spot, scouted like that, that fight, because he went there maybe like too late. Let's see. Really I don't work, know. But, oh, no, Lil well, they just uh, uh, shoot at him. I think they just shoot at him. I think they were shooting at him. Uh, yeah, Neko. I agree with you. Yeah, they scouted him, so oh, right now Lilian should have... Uh, this is wrong, by, I mean, it's not wrong at all. Uh, I mean, it's not super wrong, but when you get scouted as a Reaper, when you're a fangle position like this, uh, hiding, you want to use the TP for going back into your teammates. Right now, I'm gonna show you the right moment. Now, Lilian, since he got scouted, he should have used the TP to go back, not the shift. And the reason is it's pretty easy because the shift is really important for taking the engage, right? If you use the yearly shift like this. Hello, Alex. Glad to meet you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna speak English only. Sorry, guys. So the problem right now, since Lilian is use this shift yearly, what does it mean? It means that Italy needs to play uh, slow. Because on the paper, Sweden got more uh, abilities. They have the shift, uh, we don't have our Reaper shift. So means that our uh, Reaper, unless he wants to die, he needs, he needs to play on the back lane to not get, dam not get damaged. So, as you see, like, Italy now is playing super passive. 
strike not used yet. Now they have They are engaging and as you see, guess who is dead? Lil Yang. Because he used for he used the fortify he used the shift early. Thanks Mandolino for the for the bits for the 10 bits. Uh, luckily there is no sound. I don't know why there is no sound for the alert. Anyway, so for this reason we lost Liliang. If Liliang had used like his uh, how to say his um, TP instead of the shift, we should have probably be able to not die and like win probably this fight. I'm not sure if we're gonna lose this fight or not. I don't remember. But uh, yes, I think we won this only because we yeah we got the pick on Lelibot. We kill Erki too. Now we need to play just slowly. We just need to poke uh, the same target and win easily. RP is doing a really good job right now with the Doomfist as you can see. Like, he's like doing all the flank, all the offangle, soft engage behind them. As you see, he's full, uh, full shield right now. And now he's like punching. Uh, from behind, it's really really cool now. Arpit right now is popping off versus Sweden, especially in these maps. He popped off, he popped off a lot. If you have any questions, just ask me. Yeah, call me Mando. Okay, so now Italy got a lot of ultimate to deal with, and in the Sweden got just only the two supports ultimate. So on the paper, they should win this fight. I guess Italy is gonna start with the uh, add the ultimate with Sigma ultimate, they're gonna force the, the, the enemy beat. And then they're gonna clean the fight with probably Reaper, uh, Reaper or Coalitions, maybe both. Let's see. Reaper is in a good position right now. I don't think they scouted Lilian that is below them. They're using uh, the ultimate uh, of Sigma. They use the beat, they use the Coalitions. I don't agree with the beat and Coalitions by Sweden. As is low HP. And Lilia went oh, for the ultimate, but Nilo went to fight. Okay, I'm gonna tell you which is the problem of this fight. Okay, let me see if they were gonna win, we lose this fight. Yeah, we lose this fight for one reason. Pretty easy with reason. Okay? So, I'm gonna explain this. Uh, the, the guys know that, okay? But I think they fucked up. I don't know which was the problem, the, the, um, uh, how to say, the plan. But I guess the plan was uh, engaging with Sigma. Alt, force their bit, but when we are, since we are forcing the bit, we don't want to, uh, you know, use any other cooldown. We are not looking to engage into the Sigma ultimate. I don't want to see like Lil Yang playing on Ofengo like this. Or at least I don't want to see Lil Yang getting, uh, you know, scouted or like uh, starting shooting into the enemy when you are using Sigma ultimate. Because our goal to use the Sigma ultimate is just to force the bit. He can start shooting and maybe using his ultimate when? When the beat is ended, not before. So what we did was basically we use the Sigma we ultimate, the we force the beat, we force the coalitions. Lilian is using uh, his uh, shift to go back. Basically with, the, with this position, like of angle position, he didn't get anything. Now he's using, he's getting forced to use the shift, but with this shift he didn't get anything basically. Right? So we basically f use one cooldown for nothing. And which is the problem? Well, since uh, Liliang was in the back line uh, doing nothing, uh, because basically he didn't, he didn't do anything, he couldn't peel for his tank line. One, one thing that a lot of teams are not understanding is like a Reaper, the reason why we are playing also Reaper in the comp is because Reaper is a tanky DPS, right? He's really tanky. So it means that in the same time he can uh, tank, uh, but since he's a DPS, he can also like uh, peel and make damage to help his teammates, right? Peel and DPS the enemy, right? So imagine having Oriza, Sigma, and Reaper together. This is like an an like super super tankable frontline, right? You can tank a lot of damage, and the Reaper is the key of the tank, of the tanky part because the Reaper can like. Stop the enemy DPS to punch and make damage into the his tanks, right? So that's the reason you want to have uh, now the Reaper now, and that's the reason why Hasu is also very slow. I don't know what happened uh, actually in the front line, but I guess the front line was since he didn't have like the, the Reaper, 
uh, the front row was kind of weak in this moment. Want to take this first map, holding control, but they're taking Asa was so low. Look how Sweden still over. Now we, we went do. for the Death ultimate, but Lil Young not able to stop Italy quite yet. But Sweden, up we by fucked a up the fight. Should be able to get the flip here. There is time for Italy to burn to keep swinging around, but they do have a good lead. All they have to do is win one fight, and they'll take the map. Adnar dancing around in the sky box. So is Freyu just trying to delay, get close to that 99. At this point, it'll Yeah, we got 90%. Uh, probably this will probably the last fight. Sweden got more ultimate advantage. And see, we are close to the beat. Uh, we are close to uh Bongo. This fight could be like uh, the last one, so I guess Italy right now should should play very slow, especially because we don't have beat and they have Sigma ultimate. So I think uh, I think we're gonna play slow, yes, because this is uh, the last fight, so we don't need to play aggressive. Italy is retaking from high ground, and why do we are retaking from high ground? Because like from the high ground we can, uh, hello Rick, from the high ground we can basically uh, poke damage. And getting our ultimate up. So as ultimate and under Adnar ultimate. Uh, Lilian is dropping down. We are using uh, our coalitions. We are using our Arpit ultimate. They use a really bad uh, supercharger here. Oh my god. What happened here? Let me see. Arpit popping off again. This is huge. What the fuck is Sweden were doing was doing here? Why Gustav Epps and Zanilo were all together here? Do we get like a pool? Or what? I guess we pull them. Probably it was a pool, huh? That's crazy by by heartbeat. Yeah, exactly. I like the the, the caster said. Okay, that's really important in this meta, especially. Like the the biggest way to win fights like this is uh, the first team is gonna engage. Okay, with the right tools, with the right cooldowns, with the right uh, um, position, is gonna win the fight. So the more you wait, like right now, Sweden should not wait so much for this engage. Okay. Ready to take the fight straight to Italy. Are they gonna initiate for a supercharge? You see, what Sweden is doing right now is just using the bongo. For example, I was expecting maybe a bit more engaged by Herky. Maybe Herky being in Ofengon and like punching the enemy when they were dropping down, then using his ultimate. And meanwhile, maybe uh, Elivot using his ultimate. Right now, Elivot, what he's doing is basically rocking. I don't know what he's rocking exactly. Supercharger. But Elivo didn't get any any value, and he got the ultimate, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what can. Might be possible for Sweet to touch, but you have to switch to the ham and go for desperation mode. It's so hard to win these fights in the long term without an Arisa. So I don't think it's working like that. <laughs> follow for follow. Need some huge pickoffs coming in from their DPS, but they're trying. So last the fight. Uh, can't touch. Oh, but Gustav comes into this. Oh, he can't get it. Really good punch by Arpit. I guess this this Nepal was uh, so popping off by Arpit. I think without Arpit uh, doing all this stuff. I mean, this this fight should have been like a win for Sweden because they have, uh, well, I'm not sure, but they have like free ultimate up. Really, really good job by Arpit here. He punched but away the, the ball oh, and he, oh, they weren't able it. to touch. GG's Nobody by Italy. Touch. Are you kidding me? Italy, GG's. the underdog, takes the first map against Sweden. I mean, That's you can't so say anything Italy, about from GG's the way they got it done in the end, decisive initiations, making it work. Wow, just great stuff from both sides. <laughs> nice, very, very back and forth map, even though it goes 2 towards Italy. Italy, though, somehow coming out on top of those scrappy fights. I mean, for me, what it comes down to is Italy is not committing on the fights that look terrible for them. At least, not as much as Sweden is. I've seen Sweden too many times. Yeah, I think we can uh, we can see like the next map, and then I'm gonna stop or, this. Or same Pretty tired. Um, on that um, control center. It feels so back and forth, though. Like both, it felt like both these maps. I need to go gone, in the other. Both those rounds would have gone either. We've already talked about how much experience they have and all. 
already uh, we are, where is the That's energy? Fuck you, Arthur. Man, I'm still jet lagged a bit, you know? Should have an advantage. You didn't, uh, you didn't have like a, a trip for like for 24 hours. I did. Uh, it was only two days ago, so I'm still pretty, you know. Fucked. Sweden choosing. Okay, so. Okay, let's see. King's Row. Italy starting on attack, Miss Sweden first. decided defense. Italy, Mirror match up. Let's see. I remember this moment. I say to the to the guys to just uh, guys, just starting attack is really really important, like not throwing the first fight. So what you wanna do is just scouting the enemy. See where are the DPS. Normally I knew that normally like the Reaper is playing in the statue. I know that probably someone could play in the in the in the hotel on the left. I mean the the I don't know how to, how to call it on the left. So just scout them. Don't don't take the fight fast. Don't full engage uh, blindly. Just see what they're doing. See where are the DPS. Force the DPS out and then engage into the enemy. As you see, they're going for the right. This is just a book fight. Why you got uh, uh, got rocked? Uh, we're going for another punch, but I don't like this punch. I think it was too much uh, early. Uh, like Arpit wasn't ready for this. I don't think it was ready. You see that he's charging to, to firstly. Like I think Arpit should have like punching uh, like this uh, or like next to the car, not in the middle. I guess it was too much early this, this cool punch. And also I think we should have like w go for a you know fake pull punch. You pull and then you punch a bit later. Pressure to the front line, pass those shields, the extra healing you need to swing a fight. Italy will have coalescence a little bit early. Now we need to wait. Uh, oh wait, Arpit is going down. First. Let me Pressure see where is Arpit. Uh, Arpit is engaging again. The extra healing you need to swing no, Arpit is going on a fangol. No, Arpit should not, should not be here. I guess he's too much uh, greedy. Especially since he's alone. Yeah, he got he got stunned by the enemy in and then they, 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 need to, they need to go back. Okay, it's fine. It's not the best, it's not the worst scenario because now oh, Jolly Lilian got the pick, the counter pick. This is the moment. So right now, since we got, uh, we are 5 versus 5, we have also like spawn advantage. And they're using like coalitions. I would say that Fryu right now should have used his coalitions. I don't know why he's not using coalitions. See, yeah. Eh? We got the pick. Coalitions means we trade coalitions. We should not wait. Uh, I don't know why we're not using coalitions right now. Coalitions should have give us like the advantage right now. In instead, we lost the momentum. Resetting Italy back to the spawn, but Italy, I mean, they don't really have any ground to lose here. And now it's Freyu with the coalescence advantage. Absolutely massive here. If nobody can stun this coalescence and Arpit shut it down, throwing. Oh, another delay and a heartbeat. That will buy some more time for Epps to start charging his ult. That was almost an unintended Lucky. rock, but sure. Italy, coalescence, but now Sweden, that was a long, longer fight. So you're looking at Gravitic Flux, Supercharger, a lot of things online for Sweden. Maybe even yeah, both teams have a lot of ultimate, but we have coalescence uh, advantage. Italy. We have full engage, they are using uh, flux. We don't have beat. But this flux is pretty bad. Didn't get anyone basically. Who who got who got this flux? Basically only the Reaper, I guess. Only Lillian. Yeah, because Eddie got got punched away from the their Doom Fist. And the Reaper got the shift, so. Yeah, they basically use this, uh, this ultimate for nothing. Now Italy is coming back. Heartbeat went from the, I think it was an Ophagor position. Let's see. 
Where is our pick? Oh, he's from the main. He picked up. Pick up. I don't know how, how he did it, but he, he got the pick on the on the Moira. We trade the pick, but then Arpit again with his ultimate to get the pick on the other uh, Doomfist. This is really cool by by Arpit uh, because Arpit is like basically he went for the the aggro pick on the Moira because he got the ultimate up. So he, you know when you know that you have your ultimate, that means that you can. You can uh, play a bit more aggressive and try, uh, you know, a, a, a greedy, a greedy punch, a greedy engage, as he did into the Moira. He got the, the pick on the Moira, then he used his ultimate. Basically, this is really smart by Heartbeat. So the enemy Doomfist is ulting. You are ulting a bit later, and what you want to do is like waiting for the uh, for Erki for the enemy Doomfist to drop down with his uh, meter strike, and then dropping down with your meter strike into the enemy Doomfist, and that's what he did. And we use also like Reaper ultimate. I don't think this uh, ultimate was uh, was okay. I don't think they should have used this ultimate, but it's fine. We got a point, but we waste that ultimate. It's fine because the next fight uh, we have a lot of ultimate to work on. We can start to use like uh, add the ultimate for Sir Beat and then engage with the probably the Bongo Laser, I guess. We have we are close to Bongo Laser, yeah. I guess Bongo Laser is the best choice after the Sigma after baiting the the beat. Yeah, they they force him now. Italy needs. They can't take the fight because they they don't have the shift. Uh, Lilian is positioning himself on the high ground. Let's see what Italy is gonna do. So Sweden is engaging. Eddie is using his ultimate. They're beating. What happened to Adnar? Let me see. I uh, was out of basically I was out of positioning. Should have not be there. I don't know why I was there. Should have played a bit more safe since he got the ultimate up. They're beating. You know why he needs to play safe too? It's because anyway we are looking to play slow this fight, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Right? We have ultimate of Sigma and we have beat. So the first part of the fight will be kind of slow because our goal is to force the beat. And then re-engage after. So well, I want everyone being slow. That's it. Got picked by the Doomfist. Using the beat. I guess right now Italy should just play slow. We don't even have like the, the Reaper shift. Oh, we pick Herky. And we are re-engaging with Bongo Laser. That's kind of, uh, you know, smart by Italy. Why? It's because we are sure that Sweden use a lot of cooldown right now, right? Because they engage on us. And we are 5 versus 5 and we have our Lucio coming soon into the fight. We're gonna get, the, we're gonna be 6 versus 5 soon in a few seconds, right? So this is kind of um, smart by Italy. But I guess this ultimate probably was too much uh, um, early, I guess, yeah. Pretty, pretty bad the ultimate by Snillo. I mean, you don't wanna... I mean, the, the ultimate uh, could be fine when you know that you can have like the support from your teammates, but... This fight, I guess, is basically lost because you don't have like the the Doomfist, and uh, I don't know, like you don't want to halt uh, with uh, with Reaper uh, into the enemy tanks in front of the enemy tanks. You know, you want to halt the enemy backline. So, especially when you know that in front of you there is like a, a an Oriza with his shield, a Sigma with his uh, cooldowns. You don't want to hold like that. Now Italy got uh, Doomfist and Reaper ultimate. And Sweden just got the, the Sigma. So I guess right now for Italy, the best way to win this fight is probably, you know, they have Sigma ultimate. So there are two things to do. Or you play slow and you try to bait the, the enemy Sigma ultimate to not get anyone. Unless, uh, uh, I mean, anyone uh, that can die from the Sigma ultimate. Or you can just, uh, you know, uh, play super aggressive with the two DPS ultimate and trying to kill the, the enemy Sigma. Right now the focus should be Sigma at all. Because if you focus the Sigma as a first target... 
uh, you know, you basically force the enemy Sigma to use his ultimate yearly when and he's not gonna get any type of value, or he's gonna die before he can use his ultimate. Oh, thank you, thank you, Streamy. Bella, Loris, grazie mille per, uh, per l'host. Thanks, guys. Hello, boys. I think none of you is, interest in, is interested in this, uh, but it's fine. Thank you, man. <laughs> Ciao, Gommaso. Bye bye, bella Loris, buona serata. Anche te, un bacino, non è toccato di capezzolo. Sì, ya. So let's see how they're gonna take this fight. Benvenuti a tutti quanti comunque, raga. Eh? Welcome to everyone. Let me see if someone. Thanks to everyone for the for the follows. Oh, a lot of person will give me the follow. Thank you guys. Spero che qualcuno sia interessato a questo. Anche se la faccio in inglese, spero che siate interessati lo stesso. Qualcuno rimanga. Se avete delle domande, fatemele pure in inglese e in italiano. Vi rispondo però in inglese. Ok, sorry for the English for the Italian. Um, so, let me see. Arpit is probably engaging with his argument, yeah. Uh, I don't. Okay, I'm not. I'm not sure why we're not taking space right now. I think we should just get a bit more space here. I think we are looking to play slow. I guess. Yeah, looking to us to position. I guess he's playing. He wants to play slow. And that's pretty good. Huh? We know that they have their Sigma ultimate. Their Sigma ultimate basically didn't get anything. And the reason was like you saw the position of us. So us is not pushing. You know, and he's playing around this corner. This corner. Like the environment of the map is really really cool for, for them because they know they have to they don't have the bit to kite the enemy Sigma ultimate. So to, to trade the Sigma ultimate. So they want to play around the environment and being ready to use also the shield of Asso to uh, deny the damage from the Sigma ultimate. That's really cool. And you see they didn't get any type of uh, um any type of um, uh, value from the Sigma ultimate. And now we are in a good position. Arpit is going to 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 middle strike the enemy. Let's see what he's gonna get there. I think he went for the for um uh, how to say like a safe a safe uh, middle strike. Yeah, especially because he's very far from his teammates. Probably the, his teammates can't follow up his uh, his middle strike. They were too far. So this is kind of safe by Heartbeat. I wanna say that this Heartbeat is the new Heartbeat because. He, like in scream, he wasn't playing like that all the time. I think only in the last part of the screams, we we feedback. I feedback him a lot about this, and he's, he got the feedback really, really good. Because a lot of time he was like going for the for his ultimate when he was like you uh, it was like low HP or he was um, you know it was very far from his teammates. In this case, he did a very good ultimate. Probably for some cooldowns, like the the enemy reaper shift, and then he's reengaging. That's really, really good by Heartbeat. Really, really good because. We basically we're doing using ultimate in a in a good way, you know? Forcing cooldown with an, an ultimate and then re-engaging with another ultimate. In this case we force cooldown with heartbeat meter strike and then we re-engage with the punch and the um Moira coalition. Really really cool by Italy. This is pretty clean by Italy. I guess this is like uh, basically contenders level. This action is barely contenders player, yeah, contenders uh, uh, level. So the next fight, uh, I don't know, but I think this this fight should be like a, a super slow fight. Like uh, guessing how many ultimates we then got, I think we should play slow. Yeah, the only thing we can do is like you know baiting the enemy a bit and then uh, just starting uh, you know playing slow together. We can't win this fight because we have only just Sigma ultimate, you know? And we are close to Doomfist, Lucio, uh, Lucio, Moira. Um, uh, we are close to a lot of ultimate, but we need for getting those ultimate in the fight, we need to play slow again. Like the key of this fight are like playing slow. Can he do it 
Now they're beating and now this is the moment to go back. And the problem here is Heartbeat uh, engaging. Should not engage right now. They have the beat, right? Disengage is pretty, is pretty useless. And he's forcing Heartbeat to get out of positioning, 1 HP, and get him punished. It's basically a trade. Imagine uh, 6 person, okay? Not using any cooldown apart from the Sigma, the pool and the Sigma ultimate. Okay? What you're gonna do is basically trading. It's just a simple trade, guys. It's math, right? You you trade one for one. And why this is cool for us is because you can like especially a heady that is very far on uh, is very fast on uh, charging his ultimate. We're gonna get the next ultimate before their beat, probably almost. So this trade is pretty cool. The problem is like right now Arpit got the wrong tempo of the game. It should not engage like that. It should just play safe. They already pushed back due because they've lost heartbeat. So Sweden with a stop here will really just slow down all this momentum that Italy had on street space. Here's where Sweden needs to plant their flag. They cannot let the card go too much further than this. Three minutes on the time bank. They need to win a few more fights in this position. Keep burning the clock down. Italy, it can be difficult to cross this corner. The defenders have a big advantage, but Bongo right on the open. Bongo Wait right a second. They need to win a few more fights in this position. Keep so now double DPS from Sweden are on a fangle. It can be difficult to cross this corner. They're using a uh, bongo before us. Uh. And our uh, our Reaper is going on the right. I don't know why he's going on the right like that, but I guess they were just in a better position. So I think the biggest, the, the, the smartest choice here for Italy, since, uh, you know, when you are uh, at reality taking, uh, the enemy that are on defense have like better, uh, you know, better position. You can imagine that the enemy DPS are gonna probably uh, hidden like uh, somewhere here on the high ground or maybe someone on the left, right? So what you wanna do is probably going from the high ground on the retake, clearing this high ground totally, and then going away, going front, and then clearing also the left side, and then pushing with your ultimate. It's really important understanding how much is important clearing the space, clearing uh, the off angle, because, you know, l like... Engaging into the enemy blindly is really really bad because uh, the DPS in this meta they can like flank and like instantly kill you like you know a punch from a Doomfist can like one shot your back lane. Uh, same for the Reaper if he's good he can like you know just with the Reaper uh, with the Bongo and uh, one shot of the Reaper can kill everyone you know everyone from the back lane. Because they've lost heartbeat so Sweden with a stop here will really just slow down all this momentum that Italy had on street space. Here's where Sweden needs to plant their flag. They cannot let the card And this is the problem. You see, like, there is a Doomfist the there. They need to win a few more the Reaper on the right. Position. Keep burning the clock down. Italy... And I don't like this from Lilian. Like, moving on the right alone like that. It can be difficult to... I would say that maybe here... I don't know, maybe maybe we should have played a bit more passive. But the problem is like, uh, I don't know where is Arkbeat right now, I think it was on the top. Yeah, it was on the top contesting the Igron, but alone. And the problem, they had like the Bongo. So, Doomfist, Doomfist wasn't just a safe trade, because they they had like the Bongo damage. So, of course, Arkbeat yeah, killed him. to hold his own coalescence which will give him the perfect answer to the supercharger coming out from Asa. These trades going back and forth but Sweden managing to keep some of their bank in check not going too crazy with their ultimate expenditure. So let me see. These trades going back and forth now we are Sweden chasing again the eye ground. Bank in check, not going too crazy Checking with their the eye they don't have any DPS in Ofengor. And we're going now. They're going with the Sigma Ultimate. We are beating the Sigma Ultimate. I don't. Uh, I don't agree with uh, Dragon. Uh, sorry, Arpid using his Ultimate. I mean, we have the beat, right? So we should not use his Ultimate right now. I don't know where it was. Like right now, Arpid is not trusting Adnar. He should have used his Ultimate. He should not use his Ultimate right now. Adnar got picked by uh, by Herky. Uh, well, this is kind of. I don't think Sweden should engage here. I don't know why they are engaging. I mean.
Why you want to engage uh, as, as a Doomfist? Uh, why you want to engage into them since they have like the fucking bongo? Italy just put the bongo into them. They have more spam. They are role playing around the shield. So I don't agree with this. Like uh, right now Ark is kind of throwing. Is uh, is like this this engage is pretty pretty useless. Especially because who dies from uh, wait no they have like this engage is pretty bad because Sweden neither like giving him any shields any any protection to the to the engage of the Doomfist. I think it just engage alone no? without any protection. And now there is the re-engage by Italy. Really, really cool, yeah. Also, Supercharger comes online. Speak up to get them out of the spawn. Dragon Eddie with the Gravitic Flux. Pray with the Coalescence. These are very, very dangerous ults to challenge without ults of your own. Now we have a lot of ultimate to deal with, and they, they still don't have anything, basically. I think we can easily win this fight with Eddie Ultimate. But the problem is, like, we have Eddie Ultimate, right? So we want to... Uh, we want to be sure we can uh, get the enemy, but the, the point is like if you want to get the enemy into the Sigma team and kill someone when they don't have beat, uh, you want to be sure that the enemy are in open uh, where you can actually shoot on them. And you want to be sure that the Doomfist is ready to punch when the target is dropping down. For example, you can get in the Sigma ultimate the enemy Sigma, and when he's dropping down from the sky, you can punch him. And the same from Lilian, he can like be behind the Sigma, or uh, on a on a high ground like this high ground on the top left uh, and like killing uh, making damage into the target after. That's a Zinion, thanks man. Hello. And Lil Young with the death blossom, just a little cherry on top here. Sweet, they've gotta pull something out of their hat now. You get the uh, uh, again, you get the the the, the, the Sigma. But the problem is like Arpit is engaging into the Sigma when he should not should not engage into the Sigma. You see? Now he's punching. That's wrong again by Arpit. Because it's not he uh, should not like engage with the punch now. He should engage I will tell you when. You see? Elibot now just dropped down. He got the bus damage by the Sigma ultimate. Now the Doomfist should punch the Sigma into the wall and right now should be like a easy pick. Same by Liliang right now. I don't know where is Liliang, but right now Liliang, since you're using the ultimate, Liliang should not be here because from here he can't do anything apart from, you know, uh, peeling from Asso. But right now we don't want to peel. Right now we want to fully engage into the target we got in the Sigma ultimate that is right now Sigma. So we want to have our Reaper engaging, like the ping behind them. Imagine this. Challenge without ults of your own and Lil Young with Ancora te, man. The death boss is just a Hello. So imagine like this. Sweet, we're pulling, we're Sigma yeah, ultimate. Yeah. Now this the the, the doom the, the Sigma is like going into the sky, it's gonna get probably Half of half of HP. Imagine now that Heartbeat is ready to punch after the is dropping down, and imagine Liliang going behind them with the TP. What do you think is gonna happen to the Sigma? It's gonna die. That's the way you can kill a target into the Sigma ultimate. So our tankline is dying. Or is Eddie? Eddie is playing very aggro. Okay, the problem here, uh, Eddie went out of positioning. Like, the, the problem is like this. Okay, I don't think Astro got the, the fortify, right? Let's see. Cherry on top here. Let me They've check. Yeah, also just use his fortify. What does it mean? Uh, fortify? No, not fortify. No gold means a simple thing. Slow fight means uh, at least uh, the tank line will be in uh, back line. Will be will be playing slowly. Because no goal means that unless uh, the Riza wants to die, you need to play slow. So with the Riza, I guess there should be also like the, the Sigma. So right now Eddie 
should not like playing so so aggressive. Italy's back line. So Italy's gonna see if they can because Asso can't follow up this uh, this aggression. Is uh, if Asso could have like follow up this aggression, should be fine. But he couldn't. Now we got two picks. Now Ed is gonna die. This off angle by uh, by Liliang is fine. Let me check again. I think he could have waited a bit more because Arpit is chasing chasing on the left. Like this is like a kind of an unfocus because one DPS is chasing on the left, the other DPS is chasing on the right. So there is a miss uh, miss target calling, miss uh, miss focus, right? So what we want right now is probably just punching here and having the Reaper pushing here. That could be like the best thing to do. We got the Moira. Now Lilian is popping off. Erki got the Lucio. I don't know where was the Lucio right now. This middle middle of the fight, Adnar is is out of positioning. I guess. I saw Adnar like basically in the front line. Let me see. Yeah, it shouldn't be in the front. It should have like war ride much more. It should have been on the top of this tower of this building. This kind of throwing by Adnar again. Yeah, especially in the middle of the fight when you don't know where is the Doomfist, you don't know what what is looking to do the Doomfist, the enemy Doomfist. You don't wanna play. You don't wanna play like uh, uh, like that. Italy. Now, now Italy, since we lost two person because we lost Eddie and we lost Adnar, and they have spawn advantage, we're gonna lose. Especially in the last fight, especially when they have close spawn, uh, means that throwing like this, like playing. Uh, to chase target and going out of positioning, thinking that going out of position is gonna let you win, is the worst thing to do. Because if you lose, if you lose someone, the enemy team also, if you are even, so you have five versus five, for example, you are gonna probably lose if the enemy team is marked. Because the enemy team, since they have got, uh, they got like spawn advantage, they're gonna try to stall the point, not get like chasing targets, but they're gonna try to play slow. Because they know that if they're gonna play slow, they're gonna win the fight since they have like uh, spawn advantage, right? Makes sense. About to finish the payload. Wait, Erky though comes back, kills his counterpart. So no, they lose the fight. The DPS one, that's kind of throw by Italy. Way. Yeah. That's the turn they exactly needed. So so important in this match. I thought Italy had that cap, but Sweden they're clawing their way back into this series, and it all starts now. This is the beginning of a potential full hold here at the end of last point. So so important, Sweden. They need to get a dominant win here on King's Row. Uh, it's very possible to do if they can manage to just hold for the next minute. And now all they have with just one minute, that Italy. Last point. I guess right now Italy is kind of fucked because they waste a lot of ultimate, they they had uh, ultimate advantage of Sweden, so. Yet, Sweden. The only thing could do right now Italy is just play, trying to play a bit slow. Taking the space between them because they don't, if they're playing slow, like for example playing in this corner is fine. Having only us in front and trying to poke them as much as you can. Like using all the time to get the ultimate up and then uh, trying to win the fight. You see, this is the, the playing slow, but I guess probably, yes, they are playing slow, they are disengaging, that's really cool by Italy, you see, this is, this is kind of good by Italy, they force Sweden to, fo to use one cool, one ultimate, actually two ultimate, I think they used the bongo too, right, no, the bongo, they used the bongo before, fine. But now, you know, they're still missing 40 seconds, so what uh, Italy should do right now is playing slow again. They're going too much forward. So listen to me. They know they have like Sigma ultimate, right? They know they don't have beat. So, who is in a bad position right now? Well, Eddie for sure. Eddie should not be here. Eddie should be like way much behind. Because Eddie... The Sigma is the first target that is gonna die by the, the Sigma ultimate, as we noticed before, right? Then what else? Like Heartbeat. I mean, Heartbeat got his cooldown. Like, if he's fast enough, he's gonna punch away from the Sigma ultimate. But in my opinion, Heartbeat should not be here. Probably should be on the top right. So he can't get in the Sigma ultimate. And as you see now, since they're all together, out of positioning, they're dying. 
position, and he picks up everybody into the top. And see, they had like 40, 44 seconds to, to play a bit more slow and not taking the fight uh, uh, fast. The like this. Just disgusting. Are you kidding me? Incredible! Sweden making up for the control loss with a hold here. Italy, 25 seconds. It's not done. And Gustav has the beat, so if I'm Sweden, just run it back one more time. Speed in with the beat. Get a single kill and you're good. And I love Gustav's position here. He wants to boop somebody in so that they're so deep they can't escape. Luckily, Dragon Eddie's on point. <coughs> does scout him out, so it'll be a standard fight here. Now we're pushing. I don't Very think we should have pushed like that. It's, we are too good, aggro right now. I mean, we have all the time of the world so to touch so the point. I don't know why Luckily, we're uh, like rushing like this. This is like a speed up, I guess. Yeah, this is like speeding probably. We scout the Reaper. We use the beat. We play a bit slow into the beat. Arkin got kicked off. Lilian going for the ultimate. He got the duty, so even. Yeah, I guess Sweden throw through this fight with the beat. I don't know why they beat like that. I mean, they know that they are, we are close to the, that the ultimate, so I don't think they should have used the beat like that. This is like kind of throw by, by Sweden. Yes, it's a throw. Okay, let's go forward and see. Now, Italy is playing uh, my Reaper in the defense, like always, and Sweden is going to play Doomfist Reaper, if I remember correctly. Yes. So our uh, our goal as uh, as Italy is like uh, as my Reaper is like just trying to push aggressively and getting uh you know trying to get a good wall to split the enemy and playing uh, fast because uh, if you don't play fast you let the enemy set up with the Doomfist and you that's what you don't want by by the enemy team you want to play aggressively so the enemy Doomfist is not gonna be enough angle to to try to punch you okay. So right now, I guess, like, uh, Italy is gonna rush the enemy. As you can see, we are using, like, the wall to stop the rotation, to go in off angle with their DPS. And uh, I, I don't know where is Herky, but, yeah, I think we are doing quite, quite a good job here. Uh, the only problem I think there is, is this one. Hey, Ale. So I guess the only problem is there is here is like heartbeat ab uh, above his uh, wall. That is like a strategy I gave to him. But the problem is like now he's dropping down. Uh, when when the heartbeat is trying to freeze targets, especially uh, the Sigma, because his target to freeze his Sigma is the only one that can freeze in the early fight, right? Because he doesn't have any any cooldown to escape the freeze. On me. What I want is like shields uh, by. By Heddy, shields by Hasso. He, he wants to play with the Sig. We wants to play with the shield of Oriza, especially. And right now, as you can see, he's playing kind of splitted by them. You see, like how their shield, like Hasso, Sigma shield earlier, and Arpit is pretty alone because he's here. And that's kind of the problem. Also, Arpit didn't shift in time, and they're punishing him. He could have shifted, but we won. Because we got enough uh, advantage, enough time to freeze targets. Yeah, you see, we got uh, the freeze on Elivot. Uh, basically, RP dies, but he got the freeze on Elivot. And we got uh, the kill on uh, Eps too. So that's really cool. Now we need to go back. I guess RP is going to go back with the, with the Doomfist. Yes, because of course, like when we are playing May Reaper in defense, it's because we don't know what the enemy are going to play on attack, right? If they're gonna play like spam comp, it's better having the May than rather the Doomfist. So right now, since we lost the May, it's fine if Arpit is gonna go back with Doomfist because it's a better matchup, Doomfist, Doomfist, and also it's better because we can uh, we can group up faster, of course. They were hoping for potentially. It does send Arpit back to spawn. There's no way he can get back to the fight on the base. We have to switch to the Doomfist. So giving up a little bit of ult there, and potentially Sweden has an opening to cross the choke uh, without much threat of opposition from Team Italy. Arpit looking for any. Gauge, them up. Italy, by both so teams. Look how they're commanding the space. We are using pretty good like our shields. You see how Jolly is able to hit the enemy? 
Now we are using coalitions for cleaning the fight, and we easy win this. Like, it's really, really cool by, by Italy. We use a lot in a very good way our shields. And now our DPS, especially leading with the Reaper, could, like, you know, off angling. With enough without forcing his shifts and making damage into the tank line, like he did with the, with the, with the Riza, into the Riza. Pretty good by Italy. So now, next fight should be an easy win by Italy. The problem is, like... Eddie got the Sigma ultimate, they don't have it, so it's easy, we repeat again what we want to do. Sorry for the Italian English. So it's really simple, firstly, this is a feedback I'm gonna give to Eddie next time. So firstly, open. Open Sigma ultimate. Secondly, we want to have our DPS ready to follow up and commit, follow up and commit into the Sigma, right? So see this ultimate? This ultimate is not good because we are not ready to follow up the Sigma ultimate. They are all pushing on the left and we are all behind, so this is not good. Our DPS weren't ready to follow up the ultimate and we kinda went into the debate. We used the Reaper, we got some picks, but, you know, in the time you missed the first targets, uh, like the first picks, so we're gonna lose. It's a lucky. I mean, not a lucky, we fucked up with that ultimate. That was the uh, bait. I, had, I think Eddie should have waited there, instead of ulting. Arpit is touching again, we're using Bongo Laser. Yeah, Bongo Laser, but... I like it. Losing their Arisa, they got the point. Now Italy could get Still went for good the ultimate. But really just be a sack Next fight. And our favorably would like to get that barrier before Elibo goes for that Gravitic Flux. Still is in the back and the Hulk still can just go ham into this Gravitic Flux. Like yeah, this is the situation Adenar told a lot of times. So right now they have a lot of ultimate. Uh, means that we we can't really take the fight. What we want to do is like taking space. Uh, if the enemy are here, we want to be at least, uh, I don't know, 15 meters away from the enemy. So this is a good space. Why? Because this is enough space to poke, to poke damage the enemy. But meanwhile, if they're gonna try to use their ultimate, we're gonna be able to kite the enemy ultimate. Playing too much forward uh, and getting the fight without no ultimate is basically in a throw. And the problem is also, we are taking the fight, you see? Right now we are taking the fight. Eh? But the problem is like, they are still pushing the payload. See, the payload is 20, is 5, uh, 5, 2, right? 52. 53, 54, we are dying. 55, 60, 17, 8, 9, 60. And it's keep pushing the payload. That means we are just staggering. Also, Adna here throw with this bit without no reason. And he still drops it despite them being down too, especially their risk. That's kind of the start of the, uh, of the snowball by Sweden because when you when you throw like an ultimate like this and you didn't play it low enough but well, you're gonna lose the next fight all because Elibot is gonna charge another ultimate soon and now it's we fucked up everything a pretty huge mistake on the Lucio. You cannot be wasting an ultimate like sound barrier. It takes too long to charge for something like that. And using it in a 4v6 scenario when you already have lost your main damage dealers. Ooh, I don't know about that. It's going to end up costing the end a second point. Maybe they're running back in for contest, but I mean, imagine with the beat, they may have, may have had a chance there. So using Quarishes to engage. Looking, looking for more, but Italy now responding with the coalescence. But they're able to kite this. I guess, I don't know why you use these coalitions. Like, we didn't have any DPS set up for the Fangol or like to engage into them. So I, I don't know about this, uh, this ultimate. Now Erki is engaging again. They are beating. I don't know why they beat. I don't know why Gustav beat this. 
I think they threw this. I mean, they could have won this fight anyway. And now, the next fight, we are we should be fine because we have ultimate of Eddie. We have like Sigma ultimate, don't have beat. So we should have we, we should have won this fight. We sh I mean, we should uh, we should win in the next fight. Yeah, let's see. a very very good chance just taking King's Row outright. So far, they looked really dominant here. Great kites on these support ultimates, and now it's Epps turn to start the fight with Coalescence here. What we are pulling. The prophetic flux first from Dragon Eddy. No barrier from Gustav, but you have Epps with the Coalescence. That's the problem. I guess like the biggest problem we have is like not getting enough. Uh, um, how to say? We are not able to like hit like to get the uh, to get damage like. How to say like commit to commit into the targets we are use we are ulting with Sigma Ultimate. I think and from now on the communication should be something like you know, had the asking if their DPS if his DPS are ready to, to commit in the ultimate. Again, it's the same concept of before, like I, or using a Sigma Ultimate, we are probably gonna kill the Elibot. Like the first target we want to kill and look to kill is Elibot, is the Sigma. So what I would like to see is probably, you know. Like uh, Jolly, Liliang, like going 40p behind them, or going 40p on the on the high ground, so you can like shoot when the when the Sigma is on the sky. Then having the the, the Doomfist ready to with the Sigma ready to punch the Sigma when he's dropping down again. It's very easy to understand as a person. But we don't have no one uh, in Salva, this position. Both Reaper, Reaper are using their ultimate, but we did a very so better, yeah, very better, uh, wait, let me see how we get this. I think Alibot was ulting, right? Yeah. He was ulting, so he couldn't do anything into this, the, the Reaper ulting. I don't agree with his ultimate by Fryu, let me see. Mm, no, I don't think this is a good ultimate by Fry. I mean, we got two picks, we have a spawn advantage, the enemy are retaking, retaking. You can, yeah, they are uh, kiting, they are kiting back, you can see them, right? There is no one on the payload right now, so they should just uh, not use the coalitions. This coalition is kinda waste. Here's in Italy, have closer respawns. Sweden, losing that pressure they were working towards, their front line is just melting. That is fine. Not the worst coalitions I ever seen, but you know, could have been better. You know, at least waiting a bit more and then engaging after. Now Italy, uh, they have to play slowly, and I hope they're gonna play slowly. I mean, Sweden neither got the ultimate up, but I hope Italy is gonna play slow this fight. Yeah, that it's kind of interesting, yeah, because Lilian was playing on a fangle on the left, you couldn't see them, and now he's TP behind them. Why is TP behind them? Well, it's, it's really easy to understand, because probably at the start he was playing on the, on the fangle because he thought we, can, we are gonna engage into the choke, right, into the corner. But then probably also said, no, no, go back, we are playing slow this fight, so means he doesn't want to play on a fangle, because if you play on a fangle and his teammate is gonna play slowly behind the point, uh, he's gonna get forced his cooldowns uh, and then he's gonna die. So right now what they want to do is they're all playing behind the point slowly, not forcing any cooldowns. Trying to keep kiting. Easy breezy for Sweden. And now they can spend this extra time to get that payload towards the end. They're engaging with the coalitions. The problem is like they are not playing slow. Why? It's because it is not good position because since they have uh, this ultimate like coalitions uh, and they have Doomfist on the top, they should scout the Doomfist and then they should play behind the point and opening themselves on probably on the on the left side. I mean, their the right side, because on the right side they can hide from the coalitions. You know, hide the loss of coalitions. Now they're playing behind. They should have went on the right. Arpit engage, trying to get the pick on the, and the Moira, but now we beat this, but again, it's... You know, we should have just played on the right. We are close to the beat, they don't have a Sigma ultimate, so we know we can use the beat aggressively or like to stop the enemy pushing to trade the enemy ultimate, but we can't, because we don't have the beat in time. 
and we are beating after we got two picks. We really need to realize how to play slowly. These fights are impossible to win. Like it's very simple, it's like math, right? Unless the team is sucks, uh, unless the team is really really bad, uh, it's like math, right? If the enemy team, like, if you have zero, uh, zero, like, uh, possibility, right? Let's call it possibility. Possibilities. And they have, like, a three. Or just one or two. How the fuck you can think you're gonna win the fight? Going for a clutch with the Doomfist? Trying to get one pick with the Doomfist punching? Well, it's not working like that. Because into a good team... This is not gonna happen. If a good team is gonna is gonna have like uh, more ultimate than you, they're gonna win the fight. It's pretty simple. It's like just math numbers. Hope that their tank line can make the space, but Sweden almost got that payload at the end. Being in the high tempo play is paying off here potentially, but supercharger potentially going unchecked here could be the start of something crazy. You see now we are using a lot of ultimate but when? When they are all we are all dead, when we are using those ultimate in a reactive way. Not because we decide the tempo, but because we are forced to use ultimate those ultimate unless we're gonna lose the fight. And we're gonna lose the point. Dropping the coalescence, keeping his team alive, but needs to get some kills the sound barrier. That will be devastating for Sweden. Snillo charging in on the Reaper, point blank with these hellfire shotguns. Italy on desperation mode, switching to contest heroes. Just want to delay card by as much time as they can, but they've got a long way to go to get to that one minute time limit. Prophetic flux, the last goodbye from Sweden. Now well, the good part is starting. We pull all them for two minutes. That's really cool. This will be like the last, uh, the last two minutes of the world. Okay, guys. Then I'm gonna stop the. Crucial seconds they can get in that extra old charge that neutral fight will give them. The challenge for Italy is that they have to play so clean here. I mean, Sweden, they don't have to win fights. They just have to trade one for one, two for one even. That's good enough because the attacker respawn is so much better than that of the defenders. But that's what you get for having a better offense time bank. And they're on, on cruise control really here to win King's Row. Unless Hearthbeat can find something huge. But now they know where Hearthbeat is on the statue. So we'll see if the wall is as effective. Yeah, just checking to see if Will Young is hiding in a corner. But... Yeah, same strategies, but then we're turning around on the left. I don't know how Astro got the pick on Gustav, I guess we're out of position. He pull, uh, he pull kill him. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we are slowly pushing them, uh, like poking them, because we have more poke than them. And then we're gonna re-engage with the, with the rush, I guess. Now Sweden got the the the, the, the coalitions. We are still uh, not. We are don't have coalitions, so we should wait a bit. I guess they're gonna use coalitions. Really good may wall by Harpit because it's gonna stop the coalitions. Not too much because Epps is gonna reposition himself. Why? What the fuck is happening? Why is not moving? It's a really good wall by Arpit. Like he blocked, like he split the enemy, he split the enemy healing, he split, like he, he forced out the Epps uh, coalitions for a few seconds. And then they killed the Riza. And now Italy should just a play a bit slow. Uh, I mean, they're trading with their coalitions, so they have coalitions advantage. They should win this fight easily. Now they split again with, uh, with their uh, ball. And they win the next fight. Two consecutive fights now Sweden have lost. First pull for Evs, but it doesn't get any value as you As for Harpeet, Charlie, they kill everyone. From Harpeet, isolates the little shit, and he ends up falling despite the Evs attempts to go flank all the way around the other side to heal him. I mean, that's just a oh, beautiful Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't notice you. You donate five euros. Sorry, man. Thank you, man, for the for the five euros. Thank, Thank you, man. We did. Opening the fight there. Now, Sweden, they've got nothing really available coming up soon, and double take off. Hello, me, Moritz. Available for Italy. This fight is... Now, Italy, this is a good ultimate, right? 
Why? It's because they are all in open, right? And uh, the, the Reaper, our Reaper, Jolly, Lilian, is in position to kill the targets, right? Into the Sigma. They don't have beat, so this should be an easy win. Focus the Sigma, Sigma down. Yes, really good. He's pretty, pretty clean by Italy right now. Yeah, missing 10 seconds only, so Sweden, uh, I mean, they don't have any ultimate close, I mean, close something, but they still don't have any ultimate. Italy can, like, use his network to stop. Really good by Lilian. Destroy them. They couldn't need to touch the point. So really good by Italy. Yeah, really, really good. I guess if someone is still here, I can go for the fourth map, maybe. I don't think so. I'm pretty tired actually. There are two almost two hours and I'm streaming. Let me check. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here for a little. Ah uh, man, I need to go, I'm tired. I'm gonna just reviewing randomly stuff, so I think it's be better okay thank you Art thanks for the money too appreciate it I guess we're gonna see you tomorrow okay Art bye uh, thanks to everyone watching here and uh, leave a follow if you want to see other VOD reviews in the next days and uh, I guess we're gonna see probably I don't know, not tomorrow, I don't know about Friday, maybe Friday morning, I don't know. Let's see, see ya guys, see ya next time, thanks for uh, being here, okay? Thank you, bye boys.